Ricky and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road, but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diary. With this heat wave that we're experiencing, our daily routines have changed. The dogs have to be walked and we can only do that in the early morning or in the evening, which always disrupts dinner plans. The humidity has been as high as 92%, which makes good hair impossible and dry clothes too. The water is the best place to be, under the shower, in a pool or in the sea. Wearing wet swimwear helps in day-to-day -day chores and when going out it's best to just accept that you're going to be a big sweaty mess, especially after climbing 500 steps. And just like that, it's time for our annual tomato harvest again. It seems like no time has passed at all since we were doing this last year. But the dwindling amount of jars left under the table prove that it's time to start canning again. Today, Luca is making his simple one ingredient passata. Ripe tomatoes are simply blended, poured into a giant cauldron and cooked for an hour before being decanted into clean jars. piccolo video su Instagram. Ah sì? Interessante perché chi me la... The jars are sealed with new lids. We recycle all of our old jars but always use new lids. The jars are then boiled in a vat of water for about 45 minutes and left to cool overnight. The next day, all that has to be done is take them out of the water and store them under the table, ready to be used. Luca will also preserve whole plum tomatoes and cherry tomatoes in the same way. I'll link a video here from the last time that we all did it together. Good morning, we're on our early morning dog walk. And Carlo is gathering firewood. <laughs> really not what you expect him to be doing in the middle of um, one of the hottest heat waves we've ever had here. But there you go, he's gathering firewood. Uh, we've decided we're going to do something fun tonight. We're going to get the kayaks, kayak over to a little empty beach, build a little fire and cook something and have an evening picnic when there's no sun, when it's getting dark and we can have an evening swim as well, which will be lovely. We come up and do this walk at least once every day, not always together, but once a day normally we'll come up together. And this is our time for talking and chatting and dreaming and talking about our dreams. And it's always quite exciting. It's always good fun. Yesterday, rather than talk about houses and dreams and future we talked about youtube and how out of our control it is so for example we were talking about the fact that um 
when I'm really proud of a video and I'm really happy with a video that I've made, it never gets seen as much as the videos that I'm not so proud of. For example, the video I made two weeks ago about um, boat life in Positano, which had two sides to the story, working for a boat company and then being on a boat excursion. I was really, really proud of that video and I thought it was a really good video and the people who watched it did too. But it got a good few thousand, quite a lot of thousand views less than the video the next week, which I could have quite happily done without but way more people watch that video. I don't know if it's the title or if it's the thumbnail or if it's just luck or the YouTube algorithm that pushes it more, but it's a shame. So if you haven't watched that video about boat life in Positano, please go and watch it because it's a really good one. Sì, è vero. Tutti i tuoi video sono belli, amore. No, no. Some are better than others. For you? For me, yeah. Well, I keep a, I keep a um, a playlist of my favourite videos, which are the ones that I'm really really proud of, and all of them have been seen less than other ones. It's like every single time I do a really really good video that I'm really proud of the editing and the music and the way it's come together, they always get seen less. But okay. there's nothing I can do about that. Devo fare anch'io la mia lista allora. Farò la mia lista dei miei video preferiti. Ok, vi facciamo vedere da dove stiamo filmando quest'ultima scena. I've literally left my phone hanging from a tree branch with a tripod attached to it that is absolutely useless. Back on the subject of YouTube and not being able to control anything about it, I just wanted to mention that we're very, very close to 200,000 subscribers. It's taken us another two years to get here, but if any of you would like to subscribe, that would really help us out. We might get up there. Um, nothing happens at 200,000. It's just a number and I know that numbers don't count, but it's satisfying. It took me 10 years to get to 100,000 and another two years to get to 200,000 if I get there. So if any of you can help out and subscribe, that would be wonderful. Thank you. Okay, so one of the problems is that people don't respect kayaks and it is completely full of sand. I've also just discovered that my oar has been stolen out of my kayak, which is very annoying. This pretty much happens every year. Um, you can't keep things in the kayak. I've had so much stolen from them over the years. I should learn to take it home. It's just such a hassle taking it all home every time. Anyhow, Carlo's one has not been stolen, so I'm using his and he's borrowing one from someone else. So my hair is like this because I literally covered it in um, oil yesterday and then put it in plaits and I've just taken the plaits out so it's oily and platy. I'm making all pizza, margherita and pancetta e cipolla. nice and there's a picnic and, and get it all ready at home and bring it down but I've been working all afternoon I haven't had time so we've ordered pizzas and we're gonna balance them on the kayak and take them with us. Yes it, it more easy. Just to be safe so put everything in plastic bags. Good idea.
Olli, no, Olli, tu vieni con me. <ride> Vai, vai, Nick, stai attento avanti. indietro cazzo mangiate i salcicciotti della Well, this is pretty magical. Look at that, the moon, the lasers, two dogs on a kayak. <laughs> Che bella! la paura o è morto, non è morto, questo è vivo, vedere come la tocca scapperà? <ride> Eccolo là! Te l'ho detto! Era paralizzata la paura, a volte succede, normalmente appena sentono un rumore scappano subito via. Ecco perché questa è la prova che ci passi accanto e non te ne accorgi che stanno là, perché non si muovono. Mentre scappano poi fanno rumore quando vanno via. Snakes are completely harmless. They will not hurt you in any way at all. I'm not scared of them. Carla's not scared of them. I'm quite happy to pick them up. In fact, once on Instagram, many, many years ago, we had a snake gate. Oh no, that was a rat. Okay, forget about that. <laughs> Ma la cosa divertente che non se ne sono accorti nemmeno i cani. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, they're completely harmless and I'm more than happy if I find one somewhere and I can pick it up and, and fling it into the woods. I'm quite happy to do that. I'm not scared of snakes. But I don't like worms. Oh. 
Okay, so we've just been looking on the webcam. The sea is getting very rough. Apparently it's the roughest it's ever been. You can see that it's come all the way up here and hang on, they've had to take all the sun loungers up from the beach. All the boats have been cleared. Um, and I can see that our kayaks are already being engulfed by waves. The uh, plants in the way now, just here. So I'm gonna have to run down and save them. Right, I'm going to try and talk to you as I'm on my way down, but it's really windy, so I don't know how much you can hear. So basically the sea picked up today. We knew it was going to get rough. Um, now, I would normally call Elizabeth and get one of them to move my kayaks, but they're all obviously extremely busy. I know that uh, some of the boats have had to offload people in a mouthy where there's a proper protective port, and they're all having to get back from there. And... This is, yeah, as Sky said, she's obviously talking to Nicola. He's on board. He's actually stuck on board at the moment and doesn't know how he's going to get back on land, poor thing. Um, so I don't really want to bother any of them. So I'm just going to run down, move the kayaks, if they're still there by the time I get down, because it does take me about 15, 20 minutes to get to the beach from home. And uh, then Carla's going to walk up, get the scooter, and he's going to at least come and pick me up, which is one good thing. And no, I have not got a dirty lens. That is the very thick humidity in the air that is causing like a mist. Okay, Elizabeth has just called and it looks like she's taken matters into her own hands. In fact, I can't see them anymore. Uh, Elizabeth called me and she's already done it. So I'm dashing back up again. Ooh. But the good thing is, the heat wave seems to have broken this afternoon. We've got a breeze, and it's not like a 41 degree breeze, which is amazing. It feels so good. So last night we had very strong winds actually, and it's all dropped off now. But the remains of the roses that were on the vine here are now all on the ground. Also, we often get asked about these plants. They're papyrus, and unfortunately, they do not bide well in strong winds, and they've all snapped, which is a real shame. So they're gonna have to be all cut back, and just the little ones have survived. We also covered the pool last night because of the winds, because recently, up in the top garden, up here, Luca has recently dug up all the potatoes. So all the dry earth, because it hasn't rained, from the potatoes would have come into the pool. So we've covered that to try and keep it clean. I mean, when I say we had strong winds, <laughs> we had winds strong enough to chuck all this off the bed, even the remote control. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Elizabeth, this is Pepe, we are from Blue Star, we own Blue Star. And we just wanted to explain you a little bit what happened yesterday in Positano, because we had so rough seas. And many of you asked us, is this normal? How can this happen? Um, Pepe, is this normal normally? No, it's not normal. Forecast say bad weather along the day. The problem is uh, early in the morning when the people go out, well, it's okay and it's not easy to explain with the people that we want to go out uh, the weather is can be changed along the day we try to go out we are close to the to the to the area we don't go far from the coast we don't go to capri or oh, yeah, other places we stay close to here and along the day change the weather in fast time sometimes happen the weather comes from south Chirocco is a strong wind and arrive uh, on the beach very fast time because we really thought uh, that the bad weather will come around four or five so we organized everybody to come back between 3 30 and 4 and then at three o'clock when the positano chat uh, embarked and disembarked it changed so fast like in 10 minutes that uh, we we were just completely surprised everybody uh, and from then it started to be impossible to disembark here we tried all our boats, we had seven boats and 53 people out 
uh, and we tried one hour to see if it was possible that the waves come down, that we could change, um, but uh, it was not possible. But because for us safety come first, we decide to uh, drop off the people in the uh, safety area in a port of Amalfi and they come back to Positano with a, a car shuttle, okay, with a cab, uh, big cab. And uh, the captain come back with, uh, with uh, the boats alone. And uh, in, the, in the end of the day, they arrive, not easy to jump on the pier because it was a rough, rough, very rough sea. So many of you saw the videos at the end when our boys have to come with the rubber boat and then just jump uh, on the pier. And yeah, it was a very special uh, afternoon also for us. And this is not normal for us. This happens maybe two or three times in the season, Nikki, you know it. Mm. It's important, it's important to, to repeat, the people, our guests, drop off in Amalfi, they have a beautiful day, they, they have no danger, nothing, and uh, just the captain come back to Positano, and just the captain jump on the pier in a big wave, because we are sailors, we, 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 we love the sea, but we respect the sea. until the last minute because we had a surprise proposal and there were the, the cake was ordered already we ate the cake all the captains everybody and we had fun Piamo la torta vedi questo fila l'estate wow come bella mm. <laughs> it's cheesecake it's cheesecake oh, oh nice